What is up, everybody? How are you? Welcome back to Zachary Reality. I am your host, Zachary Reality. And we have a surprise podcast guest this week, a surprise podcast episode. Um, I usually only do one a week, but this was so important that we got my girl Savannah here. Savannah Palacio? Palacio? How do you say it? Palacio. Also known as Queen Sav, because I'm a Savannah stan and I have been since the circle. Um, So I'm so excited that you are here and that we are going to be able to talk perfect match. How are you doing? The show just came out. There's a lot of drama already on the internet. How is your mental? How is your peace? How are you? I feel like I am so good. To be honest with you, I don't know if I am in, if I, am I supposed to be feeling this way? But I, I just left lunch. I got bombarded by TMZ. I was like looking at my friends, like which one of you called the paparazzi? Because it was not me. But she was just waiting there for us. And it's really nice to see everyone's interest in the show. I think at the end of the day, regardless of the drama, I'm just glad the TV show is doing well. Um, because, you know, then everyone prospers. And that makes me happy. Well, Netflix reality shows always do really well. So I had no doubt when I heard about this show and this cast and like all this crossover that it was going to be a big hit. Did any of your friends call TMZ or are they literally just like showed up? No, she said that she actually was interviewing some football players right before us. And then she had seen me when she was walking by and she said she just waited for an hour until I was done eating lunch. And I was like, me? No, that's not possible. Wait, so what did you say? What happened? She just asked me, of course, some questions about the show, how I felt. Honestly, it's kind of a blur because she caught me so off guard. I was just like, you know, trying to just gather, you know, myself before I answer the questions. But of course she asked about mine and Francesca's um, conflict on the show. And uh, I guess a little bit of the aftermath about that. Nothing crazy. Yeah, just like a normal day. Like what was the event? Uh, it was, I was just getting lunch actually with oh. my, with Georgia. So, yeah. Oh, cute. So we'll see more of her. I think she just got here um on the show and perfect match just came out the first four episodes dropped on netflix last week four more episodes are dropping this week and then four episodes next week i'm so sad that you are already gone oh i because, know because i and like this happened on the circle where you came in hot you're super competitive you want to win and then you got off kind of early there too and you're such a like we need you in the show where it's like all the way <laughs> till the end what happens? Well, I, I think also maybe that's a little part of my game, knowing how much you guys all love to watch me and then leaving you guys wanting more. So that the next show I go on, everyone is excited about it. I mean, I think at the end of the day, what people don't know is I get paid the same whether I'm on one episode or 10. So big brain energy is just go, going on there and leaving. My intention was obviously to be on the show a lot longer um, because I had seen a lot of potential in this show and I was genuinely there to make really awesome connections with people. I do such a terrible job dating outside of, you know, reality TV and outside of my own normal, you know, influencer life that sometimes, you know, you think, well, maybe I need a good kick in the ass. Maybe I need this TV show to show me something that I'm missing. And so I was really excited to be on the show. I am sad to have left so early, but we got to keep watching because I may come back. Well, I'm, I'm honestly like hoping you come back, um, but we'll talk about it in a second because you're gone as of now. Um, but that's interesting that you said you would like get the pay you would get paid the same because I have an issue with the show where I almost feel like there's no stakes. Like there should be a money prize at the end because right, yeah. it feels like everyone on this show kind of already knows each other and no one actually wants to date or if they did want to date, they would just date in real life. So mm -hmm. the format of the have. show- and a lot of them have, and a lot of them have fucked before. So the format of the show is kind of, um, I don't know, maybe I'm just like really critical, but the format's bothering me. There's something missing. Did you feel like that when you got there? For sure, yeah. I think even the producers didn't really know what the show was going to be. I don't think the show was really figured out until like seven episodes in, maybe six, <laughs> for being generous. But we, as a collective, didn't know that there was going to be a prize at the end until it was announced. So it wasn't ever, you know, people are coming at me sideways on the internet trying to say, oh, I'm all strategy. I was just there to win. 
But one, we didn't know what was going to be won. So I didn't care about winning because I didn't know what I was going to win anyways. Could have been a stuffed teddy bear for all I know. Yeah, yeah. And also, you're just there to have a good time and meet people. I mean, if, if you're there for the right reasons. And that's what I was just trying to do. I was just trying to make friends. I was trying to be friendly to everyone first because a lot of the guys were this just there to, I don't know, maybe get their little worm wet. Mm-hmm. And I'm not easy like that. I'd like to leave that to the other girls. Ooh. And, you know, I just wanted to be friendly with everyone first and really get to know people, you know. Who were you friends with before? Um, I wasn't, okay. Well, I think I was I, being, how do I want to say this, Zachary? Being one of the only girls from the circle, I didn't really have too many friends going in. I knew of Chloe, uh, knew of Chase, knew of Joey and Calvin. I don't really hang out with any of them outside of the Netflix circle, to be honest with you. A lot of the people I hang out with are friends that I have from childhood and from high school, college. So I didn't really know anyone that well. And I know no one knew me like that either because I... I didn't have much of a relationship with anyone, yeah. um, but I was really excited to meet everyone. And, and that's why I was excited to be there. Where are you from? Where'd you grow up? I was born and raised in Los Angeles. I was born on Sunset Boulevard on, in Hollywood. I was a born star, Zachary. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> yeah, you I grew, are. Up, I grew up in East LA. I went to college in uh, at Cal State Northridge. You know the song, got a bad bitch, she go to yeah, Northridge. Yeah. That's, they're talking about me. I'm kidding. Oh my God. They're I talking about that. my school. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you have, <laughs> I'm going to cut right to it. Did you have a boyfriend when you went on the show? <laughs> no, I did not have a boyfriend when I went on the show. I was, of course, dating around. I remember like I went on a date like two weeks before the show, but nothing, anything serious like that. I didn't call anyone my boyfriend. That's for sure. But the person that is spreading this rumor about me, I think is really funny because I think they're actually looking in the mirror when they make these accusations. Um, I don't necessarily know if they're talking about me, so I don't want to attack anyone here, but it's very telling how on the show, she does such a good job of pointing the finger at people that are really doing what she's doing. And now we're seeing it play out on in real life on the internet of her doing the same thing. So it's not out of character for her. Honestly, I expected it. She can try to say that she wasn't in a relationship, but we all knew she was. And um, that's fine. You were on TV to promote your swimwear brand and you actually outed yourself in a TikTok. So. Well, so that's what's confusing is that, you know, we see Francesca, her doing, you know, a lot of Um, explaining on social media because the fans were upset because you know she clearly has a boyfriend she's been posting this guy for a really long time but she wrote in a comment that you had a boyfriend and it really got picked up so you really so you're just saying that she commented this take off the jacket right Mm -hmm. get comfortable you're saying she just commented this as a way to project onto you so that she didn't look like the bad guy because that's kind of what she's getting right I think she was shocked to hear that she was the villain of the show I think she's going to do anything to save face. She already knew she was in hot water going into the show because people were already speculating her having a boyfriend. And I think now that she is the villain, now that our conversation has really come out and I put that girl six feet in the ground, um, I think she's scrambling for anything that she can. And rightfully so. I think if you are in hot water the way she is, I probably would be scrambling too. But I'm not. Well, I just don't think it's fair for her to make up a lie that you had a boyfriend when that's just not true. Because, you know, insult Savannah all you want for the things that she did or the things you think she did or the way she made you feel. But to just flat out lie that you had a boyfriend is just not fair to anyone. Yeah. It's also severely hurting my dating life because all these men that (laughs) are dating right now are like, do you have a boyfriend? And I'm like, no. And so they're okay with it. But I mean, at the end of the day, it really is no skin off my back because until I see a name she puts out, until I see a photo, a TikTok, a video, anything, sis, give me anything, anything. Photoshop it. I know you're really good at that one. Um, You know, just give me anything. But I don't I'm not I'm confident that she will not come out with anything because we didn't know each other before the show and we still don't know each other now. So I don't know. I, I'm curious to see what exactly it is she's going off of, but I also don't really care because it's a lie anyways. 
Yeah, I mean, I love how cool you are because I think that a lot of reality stars get backlash and they get yeah. people talking. And what I know about you and what I've known about you since I've known you is how you roll things off the tongue. You keep, you live in your truth. You keep things casual. Like you're not out yeah. to get anyone, but you're ready to defend yourself if someone's going to come for you. And there, there has been a lot of, you know, backlash online towards your way, which I was upset about because a lot of it was in my comment section. I'm sure it was everywhere else too. But I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. What did you think of the response? Did you expect people to maybe be on Francesca's side just because, you know, she could technically be more popular in the Netflix world than you are? Of course. I mean, I think I, being in that moment with her, it took a lot for me to want to stand up and say something. I, you saw a lot of the guys on the show kissing her ass because not because she's beautiful, but because of the amount of followers that she had and what it meant to be with someone of her caliber. And so for me, that doesn't really phase me. Like I said, I grew up in L.A. Mm -hmm. I had dinner constantly next to Tom Hanks and Julia Roberts. I, I grew up going to a party that mm -hmm. Justin Bieber was playing at. Your pretend fame doesn't phase me. It doesn't intimidate me or anything. And so I think that she thought that by coming up to me and arguing with me in the show, it was going to make me feel some type of way when in fact it didn't. And that's why she couldn't keep eye contact with me when I was having a conversation with her because she was shocked that I was even questioning her. I, I don't think she was used to that. And so, of course, I was scared going up to someone or standing up to someone like her. But at the end of the day, that's just who I am. If it was, if I was defending my friend or a family member, I would have done the exact same thing. Like I said in the show, it doesn't matter who she thinks she is. I know who I am. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters to me. For sure. And the way you handled the argument, I felt like you kept your cool. You're like, let's talk about this. Like, yes, I talked yeah. to Dom. So my um, thing with you is that I felt like you waited too long to talk to Dom. I guess that's, you know, the okay. only defense mechanism we can have for the other side to play devil's advocate. It felt like maybe you were waiting until the last minute when Nick already yeah. decided that he was going to go with Enos or Izzy. I don't know who's who. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> right. I think in the show, Oh, it definitely comes off that way. So I don't fault anyone for feeling that way. In fact, if I was just a spectator and didn't know the details that I do, I would probably feel that way too. But what you don't see is the countless amount of times Dom and I try to converse with each other. There were so many times, not so many, but there were about three or four times where we both came up to each other trying to have a conversation and it just so happened someone would butt in. And that's why you hear me say in the show always interrupted because Dom and I could never have a conversation that wasn't interrupted with one another. And I think uh, at the end of the day, you know, I still really think he's a good person, um, but I am glad I didn't match with him because after seeing how we ran to Francesca, after I talked to him, I'm good. I'm good, hon. I, don't, I actually don't like my men like that. I like my men strong, not weak. Yeah, I mean, I guess he was, it felt like he was, you know, chasing Francesca. He was, yeah, you know, he in, was. but was, is, is it because he was just way more into her or he was scared of her? Because did he, do you feel like he gave you a fair chance before that? No, he didn't give me a fair chance. I didn't know if it's because Dom doesn't like women who look like me. Although I did see him looking at me a lot, which is why I, I thought about going up to him. You don't want a guy, you know, is interested in you because he won't stop looking, right? Mm -hmm. I think a lot of it maybe had to do with just his loyalty. I don't even think it had anything to do with her or me, who we are, what we look like. I think he was just more focused on being loyal. And that's why you see me talking to him and tell him, you know, this is not a loyalty competition. It's good to be loyal to people who are loyal to you. But blind loyalty is something that I don't fuck with. So what were your thoughts when you see the episode, or I'm sure you heard about it at, you know, back in the day, but what was your thoughts when you found out she said yes to going on a date with Damien the first second she got power? She's ready to ditch Dom now that you're out of the house. I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised because I was calling it from the very beginning. I knew she didn't really like Dom. I knew she was just using him to stay there so she could promote her swimwear line. And by all means, look, if that's the type of attention that you need, who am I to get in the middle of it? But don't forget that your true colors are going to come out when it airs. And that's that's why I'm sitting pretty, Zach. That's why I'm like this. Mm -hmm. Well, we do have a lot more episodes to go by. And I'm putting this out, you know, Wednesday. So the episodes come out Tuesday night for context. We're recording this on Monday. 
I mean, I would say give us a sneak peek, but it'll be after the episode. So just give me a sneak peek and then of what we what we can expect on this week's episode with the new four drops. Chaos. Sense. Chaos. It will unfold. As per usual, everyone will see that I was correct with my initial reactions and assumptions about people but chaos will unfold and why wouldn't it when you bring all these big personalities in a house together why wouldn't chaos unfold and that's what makes reality tv great personally i just wish that we could have kept the chaos on television and not make up lies about each other to gain more publicity because we weren't happy with our edit um i think it's easy for reality stars to say oh i didn't like my edit on this or i didn't like my edit on that and while that may be true production doesn't edit your actions period that's all i'll have to say well i mean here we are so many months later so were you surprised the beef got brought up again do you think it's just because the show's now airing and everyone's seeing it and the fans are obviously hyping it up too like you haven't talked to francesca since filming no, she blocked me. Francesca has blocked me on everything, oh, thankfully, God. so I don't have to see any of her videos. But uh, yeah, she's blocked me on everything, and I am not mad about it. Uh, all of it is definitely coming to surface because the show is out, and it's to be expected. This isn't my first go around. It's my third show. So I knew more so now than ever before what to expect, and I really, I don't think I've, I'm surprised. Wait, you were on the... What was that show? The competition? The Floor is Lava. Yeah, I didn't even watch that. But what happened with you? Did you win? No, we, we were so bad. Me, Courtney and Jack. Uh, Us three, we were on The Floor is Lava. And I love Courtney and Jack. They're so awesome. But we were probably the most unathletic team to ever compete in The Floor is Lava <laughs> history. But I, I demand a redo for myself, at least. I maybe not Courtney and Jack, although I love them. I need a more athletic team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously we everyone met you on the circle um a couple years ago. Do you have anything, do you have any like thoughts or reflections from your time there or anything you wanted to clear up? I mean, it, it's such a fun game. Um, but the show has kind of gone downhill a little bit. Do you feel like it's not as good as it used to be? I love the circle. I think with every show, you know, some of the excitement dies down every season that it comes out. I would like to say that I am not the same person that I was when I filmed the circle. That was filmed in 2020. We are now in 2023. I feel like I've done a lot of growth since then. I know a lot of people online were giving me backhanded compliments saying, oh, I didn't like Savannah on the circle, but I love her, love her now. Her. And that, that's fine. I don't, I don't need everyone to love me because I love myself. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it's a true testament to how much people change and how much they evolve and how important it is sometimes to watch yourself on TV. When I watched the circle, although I didn't think I was wrong, I think I was severely unhappy with the way I handled the situation because I didn't feel heard at the end of the day because of my own actions. You know, I was too upfront. I was too blunt. I was too aggressive in the moment. And um, I think I learned a lot from, from that. And I, and I think I'm a better person because of it. And so, you know, just as a lesson to anyone who goes on reality TV, taking those moments that you may not be the shining star and then using them to, to grow and evolve is so important. And I'm very grateful for that experience. It brought me here and it made me the person I am today. And yeah, I'm excited to have been on Perfect Match, but I'm not hurt to not be on it anymore. Yeah, well, I mean, that's also like with content, like even you look at your old pictures and videos from high school, like you don't even have to oh on a reality God. show. It's just important, I think, to reflect and to continue yes. to grow and evolve. Um, what do you have to say? I think we touched on this, but what do you have to say to people who are like, that's Savannah, she did this again, coming out too hot, here we go. I mean, I think I was pigeonholed into a situation twice where I had to defend myself the first time a girl was still attacking me and I, I will admit maybe I didn't handle it as well as I could have but I, I was behind a screen and I was forgetting that the person I was talking to on the other side of the screen was also a human mm -hmm. I was young and naive at that point this time around I don't think it was it's my not the fault same. it's not the same people want to compare it but it's not the same there's dating involved and tensions were high in the house for whatever reason and I wasn't gonna let Francesca try to bully me at the end of the day that is not my mo I was not trying to be a home wrecker I was just trying to do what I was supposed to do 
would just talk to everyone, which everyone was doing, including her. So it was very telling when she decided to attack me. And I think that's what people need to focus on. For sure. And we'll kind of see that play out. Was there any other guys you were talking to besides Dom or Nick? Yeah, actually, I was talking to every guy there. I talked a little bit to Shane, although I wasn't super interested in matching with him. I really wanted to get to know him for who he was, not for who he was on Love is Blind. Um, And so I was really interested in getting to know the real Shane. I was talking to Nick. I talked to Chase as well. And Chase expressed that he wanted to match with me, which he ends up not doing. Well, he he wants to match with everyone. Yes. (laughs) Love you, Chase. And then... (laughs) Sorry, Chase. Yeah, I mean, it's true. He does. He did. Um, And then I had a whole relationship with Zay that did not get shown. And I want to I want to say that my girl Ann Sophie was 100 percent. I love her. I didn't see Selling Tampa and I was like, oh, my God, she was gone way too soon. If there's anyone that was done wrong in Perfect Match. After me, it was (laughs) Ann Sophie. Period. Because Ann Sophie was the is still the coolest person that I have met from Perfect Match. We're best friends. I FaceTimed her this morning. And people online are mad at her for not choosing Calvin or Zay. But what they didn't see is Zay's whole relationship with me and how he was ignoring her and only wanted to match with me. I mean, come on. The guy got every single question in the factor cap wrong about Anne. I mean, she's not wrong for not matching with him. Is she you know, right for matching with Chase. I mean, after the fact, it's easy to say no, but in the moment, it seemed like the best option for her because her other option showed up in a three-piece tux at the beach. Wait, so why didn't you match with Zay over Nick? I didn't match with Zay over Nick because although we had a lot of really deep conversations and he opened up to me, he actually, you know, shed a couple tears over upbringing and how similar they are to mine. I was still trying to just have some lighthearted fun. It was the beginning of the show. I'm still mm-hmm. trying to figure out if I like who you are when you're drunk. Yeah. You know? And so I'm, I'm just trying to have fun, trying to figure out what your favorite color is, what you like to eat. And with Zay and I, it felt very deep from the very beginning. And I didn't want that right off the bat. And I feel very bad saying that because he is a really good person. And I feel like on TV, he might get a bad rep. But um, we really bonded on the TV show and I really appreciate him as a person and he is a good guy. And looking back, maybe I should have matched with him, but um, I don't regret any of the decisions that I make because they led me here. For sure. I mean, you matched with Nick. I think that some people thought you guys were just such a power duo because you're both strategic. You're both from the circle. So maybe that was there some familiarity, familiarity there. Um, Mm -hmm. Were you and Nick really vibing? Was it friends? Was it about the game? How far did you guys go? Whatever you want to say. (laughs) Nick and I were really vibing. I know a lot of people on this show were even trying to peg us as like just friends or whatever when we were all just friends there. So annoying. But I think what really worried people is how real mine and Nick's relationship was because we were trying to start off as friends we were really trying to get to know each other and then us winning the first challenge was a threat to people like Francesca because we were able to have that extra time together and really get to know each other and I was really saddened and disheartened when they didn't show all of our day instead they showed the only part that they told us to talk about which was strategy and they needed us to talk about that because we didn't talk about it our entire day i was too busy feeding him strawberries and he accidentally bit my finger and then i made him kiss it and then when we asked each other what we were looking for in a relationship and he was describing what he wanted he realized he was describing the relationship his parents had with each other And I don't think many women had asked him that question before. And so he started to cry and it was, it was really a beautiful moment. And I I really think that was probably the moment that brought us together the most and we were the most vulnerable. And I was really looking forward to seeing that pan out on TV. So I'm sad. I'm sad that it didn't make the cut. Yeah. But like you said, you know how this works, you know, there's a TV show and you know, there's storylines, there's things that are being shown for a specific reason. And it feels like you and maybe some other people are being really open about some of the things that weren't shown on social media. And we haven't necessarily Mm -hmm. seen a lot of this in the past with Netflix specifically, 
is there just like different rules going on? Is everyone just allowed to kind of speak more freely after, you know, they get eliminated? What can you say about that? Personally, Zachary, I don't care. Because to me, the truth matters more. You know, I, I think people deserve the truth. People who are invested the way you are, they deserve to know what actually happened. And that is what happened. You know, we were trying to have a friends to lovers type relationship. That's just how I am in the outside world, too. I'm not bringing home guys the moment I meet them from yeah. the club or from the bar. I make a man wine me, dine me, then 69 me. So since he couldn't wine me and dine me, I was making him put in a lot of effort emotionally. And it's sad that it's sad that that's kind of the reason why we ended up, you know, not matching up. But I mean, I don't hate, I don't hate Nick. He's still a good person. It is what it is. You know, it's just a show. I'm not mad about not making it to the end. In fact, mm -hmm. I'm very much okay not having to be paired with anyone that I didn't want to be matched with. Um, I think when it comes to pretending to like people for TV, I'm going to leave that in Francesca's court. Okay. Is there going to be a reunion? I don't think there's going to be a reunion because we already filmed a finale there. I think that's like the last episode that airs. Um, I would love for a reunion. I'd love a reunion. They I would still do love one. Because they could do it last minute. I know. And you know what we're asking? We, you know, there there are people that are interested. There are a lot of people from my cast that are very interested in doing a finale. I think it's just up to production and up to what they're able to do. But if they do one, count me in. Okay, we'll see. And you say you you may or may not show up towards the end. I mean, I guess everyone has to be there for the finale. So hopefully we'll yeah. see you again on our screens. Yeah. Would she come with vengeance? For anyone or would she keep it kind of no. classy no 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 we're gonna keep it classy i'm not like i've never been the type to like fight for a guy either you know if he notices me he doesn't notice me i'll let it know i'll let it be known my interest but i'm not catty like that and i think we saw that on the show i mean even when someone tried to be catty with me i still i still try to keep it cute mm -hmm. you know i'm like I said, no guy to me is worth that. I'm a girl's girl. I love women. I love supporting women. I, I It's very disheartening to me that I got into that situation with Francesca because I didn't know her before and I just really wanted to get along with her and I wish we could. But after everything that's unfolded, both in the show and online, I just don't really think that's a feasible option for me. And even if it was, I don't think it'd be something that I wanted. Period. All right. Well, I mean, I completely understand. And I'm so glad that you came on here and gave me the time because, you know, I ride for you. I'm a day one Savannah stan. Likewise. And, and I hope that everybody who listened to this, like if you didn't like Savannah, you better like her now. Because I'm just saying I'll, I'm going to come for you, too. Um, If you were to ever do a Netflix show again, which one would it be? Or would you want to go to a different, another network? No, I love Netflix. If they will have me back, I would love to do my own show. Reality TV was never something that I wanted to do. I think I've, I might have told you this before. I don't I don't know if I have, but uh, I did the circle on accident and oh. it was just something that kind of happened during COVID and somehow it's led me to this. And I'm so grateful for every opportunity that has been given to me. I would much prefer to be a host for something. I think mm -hmm. as we saw, I'm very good on my feet. I'm very witty. I'm quick. And I think that's where my talents lie. And so that's what I'd really love to do. So watch out, Nick Lachey, because I'm coming for your ass. Well, I mean, I was going to ask about him, too, because I know someone who would be really good at hosting a Netflix reality show. Someone is in the making. I don't know. You might know, know him. You might know him. Um, how's Nick? I love Nick. Nick Lachey okay. is awesome. He is the nicest person. So professional. So awesome at his job. I think the only person that would do it better is me. <laughs> <laughs> or me. I'm just kidding. Or you. Love you. Um, what, what else are you up to right now? You're doing influencing content. Like, what is kind of like a day-to-day -day look like? Right now, I am focusing on my beauty, lifestyle, and fashion, wellness, content. Really just showing everyone how to be that girl. You saw me be that girl on TV. Now you can watch me and learn how to be that girl in real life. Um, there's so much to being a confident person. And I think everyone should be confident and will be confident um, as long as they follow all the steps that I say. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm just doing I'm just doing that, living my life, being a confident queen and yeah, focusing on me.
I love that. And nobody yeah. mistake Savannah's cockiness for confident because no. she's a great friend. She's really humble. She's sassy. She owns her truth. And exactly. many things I love about you. Where can everybody follow you and find you and maybe give us one big tease. And remember, this is coming out Wednesday. So mm -hmm. it'll already be four episodes on what we can expect the rest of the season. Be always confident, never cocky. My name is Savannah Plasio. You can find me at Sav Plasio across all platforms. And one big spoiler. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I want to give the people a spoiler, but like a tease, a little little tease. It could be a vague. little tease. I think you have to wait because I might be back before the finale, and you're not going to want to miss it because I always come with the energy, as you know. So. Yeah, maybe if you want to watch a dose of realness and a dose of energy, tune into Perfect Match, the next couple batches of episodes, and you might be in luck. Oh my God, amazing. Well, everybody go follow Savannah. Let us know your thoughts down below on Perfect Match, or if you're listening on podcast or Apple, Spotify, rate, review, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Savannah. And thank you everyone for watching and listening. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.